We're going to jump down to the floor for an interview. The guy with the thickest lightning ropes. Those chain lightnings, so devastating. <clears throat> well, here he is again. We're here with uh, Mr. Dooland once more. And clearly, Sidhu, we've seen you dropping the hammer, bringing in thick bolts of lightning to this dueling tournament, dropping some big crits. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel good. Hopefully they keep coming. Hopefully I resist all Ven's spells and he misses everything and doesn't crit anything and RNG gods in my favor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, I see you, you, you've taken a, a a great step. You're playing an elemental shaman, but you're also using melee to your advantage. Obviously, RNG, the thunder gods are on your side. Do you think that you can replicate the same kind of luck that you've had so far with that? Um, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> if so, maybe I'll buy a couple lottery tickets because I think I should have lost one of those duels earlier. And, uh, you know, what can you do? Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. The people are excited. The people are here. This is a lifetime's worth of drama, tension, backstory, lore that is taking place here tonight on this channel right here before the entire world of Warcraft. Pog. Let's get to it. Good one. Okay, all right. If McConnell says so, let's do it. Let's get into the duel already. We have seen both of these players put on a fantastic show. In the first tournament of the beta, we saw Venruki take the entire thing down in matchups that he really wasn't favored in. Well, he's going to find himself in a situation like that again. He is definitely not favored against what a Shaman is going to be able to do. Sidhu has been the mage killer, the anti-mage throughout this entire tournament. Every single mage that we saw, they all made it to the top four. By the way, the three mages that were in the tournament, they all faced the wrath of Daddy Do. Will he be able to get it done yet again against Fenruki, a longtime friend and now an enemy? Somebody in chat said, play Apex. Man, I... Hey, you managed to find one game that was deader than this. Should we play That's Artifact right. next? That's great. Uh, what, what else do you guys want to see? The flag is down. All right, let's get the this time to started. now. The grand finals begin. I'm ready. Let's fucking do this. Ooh, yeah, you can see us us getting ready, stretching a little bit. Sea Dude's gonna dude. be doing the same I'm thing. Ready, let's go, let's do it. Ben Ruki getting full mana here. Flag already down. The second that they are ready, they're gonna accept and expect to see Sea Dude do what he does yet again. He really wants to avoid that early polymorph. That that's kind of yep. the big thing. If he can get the strong opener before the poly comes out, it's really good looking for him. Okay, immediately Vinruki opens up with the rank one Frostbolt. Sidu moves in, gets an Earth Shock on there. Vinruki roots him, moves away, gets obviously the grounding totem out, kills the grounding totem immediately. Then we have a Polymorph going into there. Vinruki is doing exactly what he wants to do right now. He has already got Sidu in the early Polymorph. He's sitting down to get full mana and make sure he's able to fully commit on actually winning this game. And he goes ahead and repollies him and drops the big one on him. This is going to be a lot of damage on Sea right here. Hitting him with a Kona Cold on top of that, Frost Nova on top of that, Scorch on top of that. Sea is taking a lot of damage right now. And then there's a grounding totem going out immediately when that when it went down as soon as it fast. I, 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 it's been a long time. Let's go, Rich. Hey, ultimately, yep. it's not easy to speak when you're getting lightning and frost yep. chucked at your face as both of these players in such a difficult situation. But then Rookie is going to be once again somebody that can see into the future. He knows that Sidu's going for that chain lightning and he gets a beautiful pre-block off. Now he's going to catch him in the Nova as well. Create a little bit of distance, which does favor Ven Rookie, even though they are both ranged. Sidu relies on being close, but wow. that's going to be a chain lightning for 632. And a 515. Oh my God. This could be it. Benruki is running away from oh. his life, and then he finishes off the duel. Sidu finishes it off with a triple crit, a chain lightning crit, a lightning bolt crit, and an earth shock to finish off the first game in the grand series in favor of Sidu. Dude, Benruki has to pull out the log at the very end, change oh, the music, no. change his pants, oh, just no. about everything, because that was how you end a tournament That's in right. classic. Oh man, Holy <laughs> we need shit. some Fs in chat for that one. That was brutal. Okay, all right guys, whenever you're back up, man it up, and let's go ahead and do it again. Goodness, 
Okay, so he used yeah. one block there. So he still does have a block at yep. his disposal. We're, we're assuming that he probably did use the snap. If he didn't use the cold snap instantly, maybe he sat on it for a little bit. Yep. He might actually have an opportunity for a more extended engagement. And yep. he, he can wait for that block to come off in later, a little bit later on in the series right. and then go block, snap, block again because we've seen just how important of a tool that can be both offensively and defensively. And you have to keep in mind, though, he has to win three games to come out ahead here. Three games. So this is going to be pretty difficult. All right, let's go. Let's get this done. All right, they're basically manning up. c said he hoped that the RNG gods would be on his side. This man is like RNG Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he is the RNG god. All right, the, the second duel is happening right now. Dueling is going off and all right, opening up again with the rank one Frostball doing exactly the same thing as they were doing before. Sidu hitting him with the Earth Shock, getting back in range. Vinruki rooting him with Frost Nova. Vinruki getting higher, uh, higher range away. And then it looks like he's probably gonna, yep. This is a big indication here. The first the chain lightning right is there. going to be a really big indication. This is a very, very good yep. poly. This is a much better start for Venruki. The first chain lightning is going to be a very big indication for us. If Absolutely. we don't see Venruki in a place where he's just going to get a free absorb and he doesn't block, that means he's going for the extended play, looking a few series into the future. That poly actually gets grounded there. Oh that is huge God, for Sidu. He tries to yeah, close the Cidu space. Just, yeah, this is not looking good at all for Venruki. Searing Totem goes out. Venruki automatically re-kills re it. The big one is coming out. This is going to be a lot of damage on Sidu. He gets stunned. He immediately trinkets out of the stun. Venruki gets lucky with a Kona Cola proc for Frostbite, keeping Sidu in place. Venruki is trying to just make any range as possible. Slows him down with a Frost Shock. Hits him with an Iron Grenade. The grenade hits. He's hitting him with the Chain Lightning. There's the block right there. We knew it was going to happen. And then right after that, that's already one block used. Just for that one ability, that one Chain Lightning. And then it still hits him from all the way across the map he hits him for 615 you've got the little dragonling chasing him down keeping venruki in combat venruki's going for the heal right now he's trying to get any sort of first aid as he can goes for a rank one frost bolt one. it hits the go ahead Oh, oh, oh no, ultimately there. He goes for and that other chain light. It's just huge. He's able to chunk him down yet again. Here comes the poly. If he doesn't get this poly here, he is in such the, a bad way. Yep, and ultimately, that's going to shock him too. Chain oh, lightning. Oh, that's a grounding right there on that poly. There's the other cast going off. 500, 515. He's got a frost shock. Sorry, a flame shock on him. Okay. This is really right down to the wire. Okay. Venruki's using his uh, evocation. He's sitting down to drink. And he's already taking a lot of damage. See, do he's going to be able to maybe get a little bit of, uh, of health and mana, but I don't know if it's really going to be enough to make the difference. That poly, or that poly came in just in the nick of time, too. If sure you did. don't get that poly there, Ven goes down to just about anything. Sidu could have sneezed on him on that point, and it would have taken him down a peg. Ven finally does get that space. He goes to try to find better shores, grabs a drink, but Sidu now going to go on the hunt. And already yeah. Ben Rookie used that Evocate as well. That's going to be one of the biggest resetting tools that he actually does have. And now Sidu actually says, hey, it's been a full reset anyway. Yeah. I, what I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just happen? let him. Yeah, let's, let's just drinks all around. Not even a big deal. This and, round's on Sidu. Okay, Lightning Bolt immediately going off. Rank 1 Lightning Bolt. And uh, basically trading with a Rank 1 Frost Bolt. Earth Shock right there. Sidu moving in to hit Ben Rookie. Gets rooted, moves away. And uh, let's see what's that. Obviously, Grounding Totem went out immediately. Sidu gets cheaped again. And Venruki, I think at this point, is just waiting for that perfect opportunity. He's probably going to sit down and drink, I'm assuming, and uh, then just do as much damage as he possibly can. So Venruki has actually been successfully able to almost full reset this, minus his big cooldowns like Evocate and also the... Uh, uh, dies block. You know, th this is looking a lot more like we expected the games to play out. Ven has done such a good job at getting these resets. Sidu just like whipped the, just a giant load of crit out and just slapped Venruki across the face with it last time. It, it was a crit on absolutely everything. You had a huge chain lightning for over 600 damage. After that, you had a huge lightning bolt, which came in nice and fast cast for over 500. And then he finished off with an instant to just delete him. Yep. He got completely vendored there, but Fen this time around, he doesn't tilt. He plays yep. it nice and calm. He goes for these resets. And now Sidu isn't in as comfortable of a place that we've seen in the no, rest of the not. tournament. Uh, there's been a number of times where Sidu's actually been in kind of an awkward position here. Sidu's kind of low mana. Venruki is also low mana. And uh, Venruki, I think, is basically just waiting for the opportunity to see someone, see Venruki make a mistake. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Until we're we see that, we're going to see Venruki run. And he's going to ultimately wait to pounce until yep. he has one of these big goes. We Absolutely. saw that actually with the big one before that. Yep. He, he has to wait to actually trade nothing into, like, if you overcommit and the grounding totem goes down, you put yourself in such a bad situation. Yes. So Elliot's going to go in and poke. 
He's going to try to get the grounding totem to go down. And then when the grounding totem is going down, you know that Chuck is looking to trade into you. And yep. then you can kind of back away. This is a That's huge a opener for him. That's a 618. That is not good for Vinruki at all. Sidu is just moving in with those lucky crits. Vinruki obviously goes right there. He's probably going to go for a polymorph right there. He moves out of it. And that's going to be a missed grenade. That is not good. And then another chain lightning. Vinruki is on the edge of... He is about to die. He's got 10% health. And then Sidu roots him, and he's going to finish it off right there. Did he actually take damage from the raptor behind the tree? I don't think so. Holy shit. I, I mean, it, it was like, I, yeah, for it, it went either way. No, 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 okay. no, but I think he got nibbled on a little bit. I, yeah. I, I, I'm actually trying to double check. No, it was flame shock. Okay. I thought that he got nibbled on from something behind the tree, but it, it, it was a flame shock tick is what Chad is saying. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, either, either way, whatever it was, uh, that that was nuts. Yeah. I, I, you see very good uh, kiting Again, and this there. is what I was saying before, is Sidu is basically just waiting for that opportunity of getting lucky. I mean, I don't know what it is. It seems like Sidu has like a 70% crit chance. But uh, for whatever reason, like this damage that he's doing is absolutely insane. Dude, honestly, he should go get a lottery ticket. And, yeah, you know, I, I mean, maybe maybe uh, he, he could actually hook you up with another Lamborghini. I know you already have so many that you might not want another one. Trust me, with Sidu's money, after he wins this lottery, I could buy five. Yeah. Like, I mean, this is insane, the amount of luck that he's had in these tournaments. Like, triple crits, double crits, being able to just lead that up with other stuff, too, at the same time. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, I mean, usually whenever you see people like that, they're just really, Excuse really... Us. Take this. Can we turn What's this? this? We come oh, to represent the what? horde. What? What? Jesus what? Christ. What's happening? The horde's here! Come to represent what do you the mean? Horde. Dude, what the hell is going on? Oh, dude, dude! Today... The Alliance have proven they have no honor, and the Horde does. Thus, we just we think that this deserves to happen. Dude, really? Actually, you know what? You know what? For the Horde! For the Horde! Dude! Let Let it it burn. Burn. This, is a, this is a war crime! There we go. Let it burn. Dude! This is for you, Rich Turpin. This is what you This got. is what you did! This is what you did, Sniper! You did this oh, God. Oh, right. You know what you're saying about this? Don't, yeah, yeah, it's gone. Okay, let's go. Safety is key, but also- Why is it melting? Good. It is melting. There we go, keep it up. Oh, there's a reason- My right hand going. is hot! Woo! My right hand is hot! It's not done! It's not, these are, these are, these are sacred colors, it's hot! These are sacred colors! There must be- These are sacred, tomorrow is- Independence Day. These are sacred colors. Well, you should tell the Alliance that. You come into my house and you do this? Go so F the Alliance. Fuck the Alliance. They're ruining your tournament. I know. They're, they're terrible. You think that's bad? I have to deal with this, dude? This isn't bad enough? We have to live with these people every day. This is the horde. <laughs> the horde are victorious. We believe. We believe. Like, dude, I'm so lucky this wasn't flammable. Like, I just... Unbelievable. This is absolutely Dude, Trevor, stop dropping walls. I swear, you get stream sniping game, you get stream sniping in real life. Like, disgusting. This, this, this like, is, listen, listen, listen. This is how the horde stream snipe, okay? In their face, real life shit. You feel me? Mm. Dude, take some notes. Yeah. yeah. I gotta clean my house. I already did that this month. God dang it! I hate the horde. I swear, like, they I, I, everything. first this Greek, so now this. <laughs> 50k viewers and all the riffraff come through. <laughs> what is that? I am really excited so to see So this actually could like. be the game point right here. It's going to win the entire tournament. Sidu has two, Benruki has zero. Sidu gets this last one, he wins the entire tournament. He wins the $2,000. He wins the tournament. And and Chuck, uh, I'm serious. Take those $2,000 right now and, and bring them all to 7-Eleven and, and buy lottery They are already, they are already back into the game. This is the final game right now. Hitting the uh, grounding totem. Sidu trying to interrupt the polymorph, trying to do whatever he can. He gets the, oh, he did get that cast off. At this point, guys, all the damage matters. Everything that you have matters. If Ben Ruki actually gets a win here, this is going to be absolutely insane. He has to use everything that he possibly has because if he doesn't, 
that's it. That's the end of the entire tournament. Over so, eight hours of gameplay chat. This yep. could be the last game that grounding's going to go down. And I gotta ask you as this lightning not, bolt comes out, where are you, chat? Whoa! That is a wind fury into an earth shot crit. That is not good at all for Ben Rookie. Holy shit. C2 is just sitting there at 100% health, but it's okay. Benruki was able to recover with a polymorph. That's very, very good for him. Benruki moving back in, hitting him with the Cone of Cold. C2 trying to cast a Chain Lightning. Oh, he blinked right through it to line of sight the cast. That is really good. Benruki is just playing like a god trying to avoid these casts, but I don't know if that really was going to be worth it. Hits him with a double Lightning Bolt plus a, plus a uh, what was that? An Earth Shock. Hits him with a grenade, and then there you see the first block go out right there. That block, too. It's not a trade into that chain lightning, right? Yeah. Like this isn't even Sidu hasn't broken a sweat and he's right on top of him now. Then Rookie's trying to create space. He doesn't have too many tools to do good. it. Chain this lightning getting revved up. He's not... gonna move forward and he's just gonna close oh, it out. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. it. That's it. That's what it. the fuck is over? Sidu claims the entire tournament. With Sidu, oh, he is the you winner. Don't. Oh my god. Shamans are insane. With oh, C do oh, you, you don't you you just heard it from McConnell. Wow. What's up, yo? Dude, Dude how does it feel to take man. down Ven? Third place in the last tournament. This time you're gonna take first. Uh it feels good, man. I think I think Ven's a really phenomenal dueler. Uh so obviously happy to beat him. Definitely feels like Ellie's got, you know, maybe a little bit of an edge in that matchup. So I'm pretty happy with my decision to go Ellie. I think I think I would have yeah. got obliterated as enhanced. Um, you know, some people in this call actually thought I wouldn't make it past the first round. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all good. Did I? Yeah, you did. C2, oh, yeah. did you lose a single game? Uh, a single, single duel? No. You didn't Wait, lose what? a single duel what? the entire tournament! The that's entire tournament, he didn't lose at all. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Hey, C2, how about, I actually hey. have a question for you right now. Oh my god. Wait, what? C2, C2, Sidu, will, will you will you sign a will you sign a, a a piece of paper right now for for McConnell? We'll be sure to deliver it to him. Sure, Please. man. Absolutely. I don't really got a pen or paper, but you know, e cigs. Yeah, you just know? give him an autograph. Yeah, yeah. I think McConnell definitely wants your autograph, dude. Uh, I, I I gotta ask you: Are, are you gonna use the the two thousand dollars on lottery tickets with the luck that you've been having? I mean, I should probably like yeah. do something more productive for my family, but uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest though. Like you, heard it here, boys. you didn't the drop two thousand dollars a lottery ticket. There <laughs> we go. Hey. It, it's 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 fun to joke about you, you know some of the luck that could potentially happen when you're going for these big crits. But as McConnell already said, you legitimately did not even lose a single duel in the tournament. Uh, that's not really how luck works. So what do you think it is about the shaman that puts you in such a position to succeed? I mean, I think I just like I don't know. I feel like the matchups weren't free, but. With the amount of like lockdown you have against casters, you have a six second cooldown interrupt, and you have like a 13 uh, second cooldown immunity that they actually have to kill or it'll re-immune in 13 seconds. So, you know, Warlock with Shock, Grounding Tremor into four mages in a row. Uh, I think I just kind of drew the perfect storm bracket. I think Shadow Priest would have been hard. I think Hunter would have been hard. Um, I think even Peo would have been really hard. I, I think uh, bracket definitely played a big role in this victory today. Holy shit, that's like infinite looping. I need to turn that off. Yeah, and uh, I, like I was Agent it. Smith in the it, Matrix. <laughs> I, like... I, I do want to say as well, like you, you were basically able to take out every single one uh, of the mages. Like, what do you think, as you've already mentioned, you had a good bracket, you had the right run. What do you think your hardest matchup would have been? If the tables were turned a little bit, what do you think the thing you were the most afraid of was? I think I think Beam would have been a really hard duel. I think Peo would have been a really hard duel. Um, I feel like Shadow's a little bit harder than Disc, so healing stat would have been difficult. But I think Shadow's harder, for sure. Um, I think Snuts would have been a hard duel if I had to fight him. There's probably some other people that uh, I haven't mentioned. I think the Zero Hunter is pretty good as well. Um, if he knows what he's doing, it could definitely be tough. But uh, yeah, I I really think my bracket was pretty lucky i mean i just got sided with all the mages and it seems i'm pretty good into those yeah i i definitely do agree that y you made mages look like uh, such a difficult matchup for them are you going to be playing shaman and classic 100 percent? 100 percent. i think i want to do enhance though After this though. i'd expect it yeah <laughs> i think i want to do enhance though ellie was a lot of fun though i was like really on the fence about going elemental i felt like i was like straying away from my enhanced roots 
But uh, the Wind Furies were still there, you know? They, they still respect it, you know? It's very true. Dude, congratulations, man. Yeah, congrats. Like, I, I actually didn't expect to see a Shaman do this well. I, I, you're, you're right. I absolutely underestimated Shamans. And yeah, it the turns out that I was completely wrong. Like, uh, the amount of damage and, like, the amount of being able to weave in Wind Furies with those Chain Lightnings, I mean, that is just absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. So congratulations yeah. on your win, man. Yeah, Thank so you very you much. I appreciate it. And thanks for inviting me.